Oh my god, it's mummified. There's a mummified mouse in my truck! Hey, what's up? Alley pant. It seems that I'm getting I'm it seems that I'm getting closer and closer to you all the time. I was just up in Utah. <laughs> oh, were you? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nah, How that, are you doing? What's going on? Nah, that's not nice, man. It is a long ass drive though. For real. I just I looked at the map and where I was at, I wasn't that far from Nevada. Uh -huh. I was like, damn. Yeah, you're really not. You're not far from Nevada. You're not far from California, uh, well, Washington. Lake, Crazy. Right? So I've been. Yeah, do you not usually run? Well? No, no, but no. I don't mind. I just don't like driving out here during the winter time because Utah, mm -hmm. Wyoming, those are chains, and uh, you have to at least have chains on your truck. And if you don't, you get a hefty fine for that. For not at least having chains mm -hmm. on your truck. You have chains. You do have chains. And yes, I have. I have used them before. <laughs> not a fan of putting them on, though. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Alley pants, man. Your girl. <laughs> Gear grinding hyena. Just not having any luck with any trucking companies that she choose to go to. On today's adventure. So right now I'm just cleaning the inside of my truck. I saw this. I'm like, what the hell could be down here? Apparently a drawer. A drawer that was somebody's home. Who the fuck was living in this truck? Is that a rubber ducky? Hello? Is anybody down there? Who was living in here? Cause, cause I, I, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. You gotta go. Wherever you is, you, you gotta go, okay? This is fucking up there, man, and, you know, things that I never thought I'd be doing in my truck driving career, and that is picking up fucking rodent crap. What? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! That's a mouse! That's a mouse! I should have just became an alcoholic. Oh, my God. It's mummified. There's a mummified mouse in my truck! What happened? Did you see the video that I sent you? I like bare, I was in the middle of watching it when you called. I saw that it was a nasty truck, but I don't know. I don't follow her, so I don't really know. Well, what happened? She uh, she got a nasty truck. That is true. She got a nasty truck. Unfortunately, she opened up the drawer and she was surprised by a dead rodent. In the drawer, alley pants. I need to. I, I need to ask you for new drivers that's coming out here, that's getting these bum ass trucks, and they're not being cleaned by their by these companies. Man, is that a disrespect? That gotta at least be a big disrespect to the to to the new driver that's coming on to to said company. Yeah, it is. There's really no way around it. It's definitely disrespectful, but I also think that it's just lazy. Right, it's companies not understanding that this is our home. This isn't just a work tool for us. This is where we live. So don't hand me. You wouldn't rent that out to. You wouldn't be able to rent that out to a tenant. Matter of fact, you would probably get in trouble if you tried to rent something like in that condition out to a tenant. So why would you give it to a driver that way? You know what I mean? I I agree, man. It is would you consider that as a red flag? Choose, oh yeah, I wouldn't choosing the car. I wouldn't even clean it. It's right. Like, no one else because yeah. you figure because if that's what you think. You figure if they don't if they don't keep their company trucks clean, sanitized, washed out for the next driver, then that goes that that goes to show you that the company itself is not going to treat you with respect. If that's a good mm -hmm. way into putting it. Yeah, this company doesn't know what they're doing. They don't understand their the business they're in. They're just there to make the money, and they will screw over anybody, including new drivers, to get their bag. And it's like, okay, well, that's who you are, that's who you are, but that's not going to work for me. But what that says about the previous driver that had the truck, though. 
Why? Also, yeah. Oh, my well, God. I, if, I didn't see the whole video, so I don't know how long that truck has been sitting. So it's not unheard of. If a truck's been sitting for a long time, it's not unheard of for mice in particular to burrow into trucks or vehicles or cars or anything. I don't know if that's necessarily that the previous driver had a pet and didn't take care of it or if the truck just sat long enough that it inherited a guest. She was cleaning out a she was cleaning out the truck and she started to clean out the drawer area, which was very messy. I'm gonna assume that they came in there, they half cleaned the truck and didn't bother to open up the drawer to clean out the drawer. But yeah, the drawer was messy and that's where she found the dead rodent and all that mess. So the previous driver had to leave. You're right about rats, rodents, roaches coming into the truck and everything. But for the previous driver to leave that the drawer mess, still, what they got to say about them, though? And that's the thing is that if the, I, like I said, I didn't see the entire video yet, but if the whole truck was messy, that tells you right off the bat that driver left on bad terms. Exactly. They either did time to clean it or they didn't want to take the time to clean it so that's also another red flag right like when you see this stuff to me personal opinion right off the bat it's just five alarm fire. when you get a truck like that five alarm fire man we know this is just gonna be time you to know go. it's time to find somebody else well, for this young lady to be going through it i've been man <laughs> I would love, love, love to have a conversation with her, man, because this young lady, she's just not having no kind of luck with trucking companies. The previous company that she was with, which was Variant, everybody knows that she was with Variant, and she had huge issues with Variant, not just with the company itself, but with some of the drivers, some of the influencers. And she said, and she said that, one the truck that she she would receive was roach infested. So I man, I've been trying to reach out to this young lady in particular for the longest time. I I, I just I I just need to have just need to have a just an awesome conversation with her because she got stories. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, she yeah. she got some interesting stories, man. Yeah, it's interesting. <sighs> How do I say it? I think for me, I look at it as, and I tell people when they want to, when they ask me about coming into the trucking business, I tell them trucking companies are like trying on shoes. You keep trying on shoes until you find the pair that fits the best. That's going to take you the farthest. And it might take you two, three, four, five pairs of shoes but you don't necessarily buy the first pair of shoes you try on. That's a good analogy right there, man. I never thought of it that way, but that you're right. That is a very great analogy by Ali Pants, y'all. Listen to that. Yeah, definitely find I a think- good pair of shoes, a, a good company. That One of my mentors, she's actually going through it with a particular company that she went through school through, and now she actually mm-hmm. drives for the company, but... So far, her experience hasn't been all that great. And I'm I'm listening, I'm listening and I'm paying attention and I'm trying to calm her down and to get her to to continue to rock out with said company. But mm-hmm. eventually it's gonna come to a point that she's gonna have to leave. Mm-hmm. If the company is just respecting you and keep giving you bullshit ass equipment. And you're not, and you're just not making no money with the company. With all intents and purposes, you trying to get your experience in. Yeah, you just might have to leave that company and then go with another company, knowing that you're going to have to go back out with a trainer because you only been with said company for a couple of weeks or less than three months or something like that. That's a great point, though. But from a different perspective. If that company is that bad already, you're going to want to go out with a different trainer because who knows what that trainer did. If that trainer taught you the things you needed to know, if that trainer gave you the education, because obviously the company doesn't care. How is that person supposed to know whether or not they got a good education out of it? Mm -hmm. So 
if you if it's not working get to moving like that's the best part one of the best parts about the trucking industry is there's something for everybody everybody right. has different needs in their life and the trucking industry can accommodate any of it you just have to find the right place right exactly and like you said again back to the shoes Got to make sure you find that yeah. good pair of shoes that'll take you the longest. Alley pants, as always, coming through with the analogies and everything. That's why I love, love, love conversating with you, man, because when we come together on some good topics and we come together and we come to an understanding. But as far as as far as my girl, gear grinding hyena, man, I, <laughs> I, I hope for the best for her. I really do. She's been through it all. And to follow her journey through her TikTok and all these trucking companies that, that she been with and all these trucking companies that she had issue with, I, I just hope that she finds the one that she can actually settle down with. That, yeah. And hopefully, she, hopefully her career in trucking will be a prosperous one. But so far, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. I hope that she finds the right fit eventually. I don't know if this is going to be the right fit for her, though. I hope she doesn't stay too long. I think sometimes as hardworking individuals, we tend to stay longer than we should with a company because we want to give them the chance to make it better when they just aren't in good faith going to do that. And so my hope is that Either it shapes up and it turns out to be great or that she doesn't spend too long and allow them to abuse her. Woo! I hope so. I hope so. Allie Pants, what are you doing today? What's going on with you? Where are you at? I'm at home waiting for my load and then I'm going to head what? out to Seattle. Wait, you're at home waiting for your oh, load. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. We so the way my job works is I'm a I'm what's called a shuttle driver. So I am the anchor leg in a relay, and then the beginning leg in the next relay. So I take oh, okay. a load. They drop it off at my well, not in my house, but in my town, and I take that load to its final destination in Seattle, and then I pick up the next load ready to go from Seattle. And I hand it off here in my town to a team that runs it out to wherever it needs to go. And this company right here, man, where can I find this company at that I can actually stay home get it, and wait for a load? And then what? We bobtail over, over to it? That's what we do? No, I just drive my personal car and then I park my car at the truck stop. What? And... I go on to Seattle and then come back and then I come home tomorrow night. I want your job, man. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I don't make money. I'll tell you this. Like the time is good, right? Like I have a great schedule and I get paid by the hour. So that's nice. But I don't make all the big money in trucking because it, as everybody knows in trucking, there's a trade off. You either take the time or you take the money. I just, for right now, I want the time. Exactly. You so, want to make sure that you get your time in, get some rest and all like that. Not too many people, not too many people, they want the money, but they sacrifice their, their sanity and everything. So, yeah, much love and much power to you on that one, Allie. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's nice because I get to be around for my nieces and nephews and I get to be around for my parents. They're getting up there and they need some help. So it just works out. And when things change, then the trucking industry has a lot of other opportunities that I'm excited to try out. I already know what my next job is going to be. And you get a chance to rock out with the lockout men. That's what's up. That's right. That's, right. That's the best part, right? All right? Yes, it is. All right, Allie, well, thank you very much for coming on and chopping it up with me. And hopefully, uh, your grinding hyena would, uh, would be better off hopefully with the company that she had and they can see what they did and make up for it but uh but yeah guys the best conversation starts here on the lockout man podcast show if you guys want to jump on and rock out with me the phone number 216-600-2090 get on board with some great conversations over here again thank you to Allie pants as always 
Thanks, Lockout Man. Have a great day. You too now, ma'am. Guys, y'all take it easy. We'll back, be back with another one. Peace. See you later, Allie. Feel there's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water. In the water.